windy conditions and tougher pin placements all but guaranteed scores would be higher at the third round of the 58th Northeast Amateur at prestigious Wanamoiset Country Club. And our 36 hole leader with a score of 128, which is 10 under par, we welcome Theo Humphrey. With a record setting 10 under through two rounds, Theo Humphrey started the day with a one shot lead. A nice par save on two, followed by Miss Birds on three and five. Playing partner Doug Gim jumped on top with the chip in bird on the fifth. I hit a good tee shot. Well, I thought I hit a good tee shot and it went through the fairway. Got kind of drew a bad lie. Thought it was a little bit unfortunate. Thought I hit a pretty decent shot and um, I just I couldn't get any spin out of the lie. Rolled off the green. Drew another bad lie and I just told my dad, I swear if I hit this good and I somehow end up with a bogey, I'm, I'm going to be pretty mad. And I hit a pretty good one and I ended up going in and he laughed and he said, well, you get, you're going to get rewarded if you keep hitting good shots. So that was kind of the theme of the day was just not trying to be distracted by any of the, the things that were going on because, I mean, this course was going to be playing tough. Gim made it to the eighth hole today without a bogey in the tournament. An incredible run at Wanamoiset. Uh, the course was a, lot, a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's kind of what I remember from two years ago. Finally made a bogey in the tournament. So, um, But, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be that kind of day. Um, it seemed that way when I got to the putting green before I was teeing off. So uh, kind of got in grinding mode more than, you know, just trying to attack it. Colin Morikawa, who started the day one shot back with an early bird, offset by coming up short to the tricky pin placement on the seventh twice. Yeah, you know, I just tried getting a little too cute with it. And, uh, you know, you can't lose shots like that if you want to come out on top uh, for the end of the week. Another birdie at the 8th, and then from the 10th fairway, he hit the middle of the ninth green, a two-putt, and he made the turn with a one-shot lead. And that is where he would finish. Oh, just after the 10th hole, I made a bogey, um, and I came back with a birdie on 11, and that was big. So that, that got some momentum going. Um, I got a few lucky breaks, uh, like the drivable... Uh, 14th. I was just over the bunk or just over the green, uh, still in the rough though. So, you know, I got a little lucky there and, uh, you know, kept going. His 12 under, a three round Northeast record. Yeah, no, I'm really pleased with the 66 today. Um, you know, the conditions were a lot harder, uh, a little tougher pins, a little windier out there. So, uh, you know, I kept the ball in play for the most part. Just one ahead of Doug Gim, who was tied until a bogey on 18. Actually, you seem to be happy with the bogey on 18 there, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, bad tee shot, bad second shot, bad third shot, bad fourth shot. So, <laughs> so I, I told. I mean, very rarely can you say you you make a good bogey, but um, you know to make a putt and and avoid because I was staring double in the face. Um, but to make a putt, get some momentum. Humphrey also bogeyed 18 to finish with a two over 71. He's four back at eight under. Chandler Phillips at seven under. Only the fourth golfer within nine of the lead. The two leaders reunited after playing the first two rounds together. It's going to be a fun pairing tomorrow with Doug, and uh, yeah, we'll see who comes out on top. Okay. The past three days, you know, we've both played really well. We've hit the ball well, made a lot of putts. So, you know, that's that's what we're going to keep doing tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what happens. Get to play with Colin and Theo, which is good. I mean, we're all playing really good golf right now, and uh, excited to attack it. Glad that we're actually playing a little bit early because. Uh, the winds might pick up like it did today. Um, so, yeah, excited for the pairing. Excited to play with Colin again, and uh, can't wait to duke it out. To check out all the scores, make sure you visit northeastamateur.com. I'm Don Coyne reporting.